The Gingerbread Giant and the Big Bad Eater by Alex John Pitts. Once upon a time in Ohio, there was a gingerbread mom. She lived in a castle in the clouds. The giant gingerbread mom made a giant gingerbread man. <coughs> the giant gingerbread mom opened the oven and poof, the gingerbread giant came to life. And that's how it all started. <coughs> The gingerbread mom told gingerbread giant, go move away to see your future. The gingerbread giant replied, yes, I'll move out. So as he was walking to the door, his mom told gingerbread giant, bye, with tears of joy. Gingerbread giant said, bye. The gingerbread giant was walking down the street, and he saw a person with gingerbread. So the gingerbread giant asked the person for some gingerbread. The person replied, yes, I'll give you some gingerbread. So the gingerbread giant made his house out of gingerbread. Then this alien person with a big mouth was walking slowly to his house. Then he got there. The alien told gingerbread giant, I eat gingerbread people ginger and gingerbread. So he ate his house. The gingerbread giant luckily escaped. The eater followed him. Then while the gingerbread giant was running, he found a beanstalk. He climbed up the beanstalk, and the eater climbed the beanstalk, too. The gingerbread giant was walking along, and he saw a house that nobody owned, so he decided to live there. The eater saw gingerbread giant go in the house, so he went to the door, and he ran into the house looking for gingerbread giant. He looked Downstairs and upstairs. Then upstairs he found him sleeping in his in his bed. And the eater ran to him and took a bite off of his arm. Then the gingerbread giant woke up. The eater took a bite. Then another. Then another until he was dead. The eater was full. Then he, then he went home. The eater was happily ever after. Was that scary or not? Write on the next page if that was sad or not. And put your name on the one that you wrote.